Now here in Australia, a very scary trend that I'm starting to see is people going online to some of these websites and importing large custom aquariums from China. I have many videos on that particular subject and all of the risks involved with importing large aquariums. Particularly, there's many risks in regards to the type of silicon they're using in the workmanship, but also you look at the price of the tank and you go, oh, that's pretty good. But then by the time you factor in the delivery costs and then by the time you factor in the extended wait times and by the time you factor in the logistics of actually getting the tank, often the price that you originally looked at is completely doubled, plus conversion rates, fees and all that other business. So you very often pay way more than you think. But the other major concern that I'm having at the moment is people are importing flat packed cabinets. Now, if you're just talking about a four or a five foot tank and you whack it on a flat packed cabinet, it's not really the end of the world. But when you start importing tanks that are literally tons when they're set up, six footers, seven footers, eight footers, 10 footers or whatever, and you put it on a flat packed cabinet, there is an absolute possible shelf life here. Because for a start, nearly all of these flat packed cabinets have absolutely no structure to them whatsoever. So there's no solid timber, there's no steel, there's nothing that actually is going to have any structural integrity whatsoever. So quite often you put it together like this and uh, across the back is often a um, board which is supposed to stabilize it but they're often tacked in with the very very finest of nails almost a cosmetic um, addition now if you fill that tank up and it weighs a ton or two ton and then you happen to lean on while the weight is completely down it might be okay if you go and lean on the side of it then these this backing no matter how you've attached it, if it's attached to particle board, it's basically not gonna be structural at all as far as the tank flying off in that direction. Even if those timbers are recessed within these panels, it'll just fly that way and forward because one or two ton of weight needs a serious structure down here to stop it because I've actually heard of customers that have bought these tanks, then it's just flown off in that direction, crushed everything underneath, major, major problem. Even the other thing I've seen too is they put these little cosmetic legs on the bottom. <coughs> I'm like, are you serious? This is gonna be like a ton or two ton, and you're putting these stupid little plastic legs on the bottom. I don't know what sort of crack they're smoking to go thinking that this will be okay. So you definitely wanna take any little legs off, if, unless they're solid steel because the other thing I've seen too is where they actually tell you to put the legs is often not even under the supports so you want to make sure if you are putting a completely solid leg it's got to be like literally right underneath the 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 leg because otherwise that'll push down and it'll just, it'll just warp and bend that'll just warp and bend so with something like this all that's holding it together is some very fine nails, usually almost cosmetic style, and some camshafts and a bit of dowel. So once again, you put a bit of pressure that way, and this thing's just gonna fly. It's gonna go straight through the wall. You could be talking about dead people if you're unlucky, and best you'd stuff your lounge room up. So when you're looking for a stand, especially for a tank six foot or more, you really wanna look at a very well known brand. If you went for Red Sea, Aqua L or something that's got a bit of reputation to it, don't go importing some no name from China because they'll sell it to you and don't think they're gonna answer their email when you turn around and tell them that it's destroyed your whole house, killed all your fish, they don't. They'll chuck it in a container, they'll take your money and the rest is all your problem. So make sure you get advice when it comes to large aquariums 
once again if you're just buying a three footer or a four footer and you're chucking it on a bob's your uncle fantastic flat pack stand well no big drama but when you start talking about big ones you start talking about real risk it can be very dangerous it can be very disheartening and there can be a whole lot of hidden costs anyway if you want advice on any of this stuff majestic aquariums come down and see us at the end of the day if you buy something cheap it's because it's cheap i would really recommend especially if it is going to go in your lounge room you want to do the research and do it properly get a strong stand get a well-built aquarium it's really 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 worth the extra effort and it's always going to cost you a little bit more but you're going to sleep at night you're not going to be wondering hang on a minute i hope my aquarium in my lounge room doesn't end up in my bedroom and so forth because don't think the don't think these things don't happen because they do i get to be involved in a lot of these horror stories they'll ring me up when something's drastically gone wrong so if you think it's too cheap you think it's too good to be true just consider that maybe it is it's better to spend the money in the first place get something good get something safe get something that's going to last